Hello guys and welcome back to the Trickmania Awards of 2022. I'm Lucas Turbo and today we're going to take a look onto our final category, Pro Player of the Year. A quick reminder that you can still vote in the other 20 categories as well. The voting phase ends on Tuesday the 31st of January at 23.59 CET. This edition of the Trackmania Awards is made possible thanks to the support of our official partners Ubisoft Nadeo and NTWU. Alright, our first nominee is Carl Jr. It might come as a surprise, but at the beginning of the year, the Canadian player was facing relegation, but after handily securing his spot on TMGL, he started to dominate once again. Finished top 2 in the regular season and matched his standing in the finals, where he lost to Murda in a double finest situation. Later, he joined Brand to finish top 8 at the Zareda Cup as a warm-up to the World Cup. He flew to Paris again as a defending champion and in the end, he got his fifth World Cup title after capitalizing on Mime's mistake in a double final situation. And to top it all off, he finished on the podium in the highly anticipated Arctic Gaming Experience. It just wouldn't be a complete list for Pro Player of the Year without the GOATs in it. Our second nomination also doesn't come as a surprise. And I'm talking about none other than Mime. The one and only Polish Bull. After dominating his way through the Challenger League, Mime didn't stop improving and crushing his opponents. Starting with a top 5 finish in TMGL, he already showed that he's not messing around. After that, he warmed up for the World Cup on his first Avalan event, Comic Con Baltics, where he took first place. Feeding ready, he traveled to Paris, where he did the unthinkable for a rookie. He made it all the way to a double final situation against Carl Jr. for the world title. Maybe he lost that duel, but he still took home the silver medal. The rest of the year was a breeze for mine. Getting top 2 in the Fastpoint International, top 4 at Trackadia, and winning both Trackmania for Hours and the TMWT Showdown. He really went from zero to hero in just one year. Let it be the beginning of his story filled with medals and trophies. Very wide. It is gonna be caught by even attacking on the inside. Mine with a very wide approach. He is speed sliding like a madman and he takes first place. Beautiful performance by Mime there. Different approach. Our penultimate nomination on this list is none other than the Thunder from Down Under, and I'm talking about Murda. Murda came back to Trackmania in 2020 with one goal, to win TMGL. While 2021 might not have been his year, 2022 certainly was. After advancing to playoffs with three champion medals, he proceeded to comfortably get into the final 1v1 against Carl Jr. It was one of the most even matches of the year that ended in a double final situation. Moda eventually ended up winning with just 6,000s to spare. After accomplishing his goal, he raised the bar for himself with his eyes set on the World Championship. He flew to Paris all the way from Australia. There, he finished on the podium wearing his iconic Batman shirt. Meanwhile, he didn't forget about his roots competing in full speed events and getting some high placements there too. After parting ways with Edelweiss, he found his new home in alliance with Soldier, where they both together scored a second place finish in the TMWT showdown to end the year in great fashion. Uh, no, it will be good speed for Meta on the end. GG, 107.45, okay. So that's technically world record. Take a look at the world records, we have Meta with the one he just drove this and Schmaniol did a, a cut. Our last nomination is Pack. Pack had a quieter year compared to 2021, but still performed when it mattered. Starting off by winning the British and Irish Professional Cup and coming third in the TMGL Mid Season Invitational. Also, the Trackmania Grand League Spring Season went very well for Pack by finishing 6th 7th in the regular season and taking the third place in the playoffs. In the Trackmania World Cup, the former M&M driver finished in 5th to 8th position by losing a thrilling double final situation against Mime in the semi-final. However, the biggest success in 2022 from the English Trackmania player was the first place at the Arctic Gaming Experience, whose final is also nominated as Match of the Year. There he showed an insane level of pace and consistency by performing under extreme pressure. So off from my perspective when Brent does those jumps. Oh? Oh! Oh! Go 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 go
Yes! 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 <laughs> oh my god, with a 28. Oh. What was yeah. that I did? What was that I did? Anyways, that's all that I have for you today. Make sure to vote for your favorite. The link is in the description below. And you can also still vote in the other 20 categories up until the 31st of January. Geek and me will see you on the 4th of February, right after TMCL, where we will present and host the results show. So, we will see you next week. Take care.